Flipping it transpired down. that the skull in the center of Benny's problems was actually the skull of a young man, Harold, who, back in the same history times as the blacksmith, was in love with a young woman named Reagan. Harold told Penny his tale, again employing the same incredibly vivid interactive storytelling technique that Penny told herself she really needed to learn, and it was one of sorrow and loss. Star-crossed lovers, struck down in the prime of life by a horrible accident. Or rather, a series of horrible but ultimately non-fatal accidents which led, eventually, to one involving a windmill that finally stuck. Could Harold really have been so bad at basic windmill safety? Penny asked herself. And, in a follow-up question, could Reagan really be running around in my body for reasons that are not pure evil? There was only one way to find out. Penny knew these answers could come at a horrible cost. But she needed to know. Haha, the plot thickens. <laughs> Is it possible we just need to reunite the star-crossed lovers? Will I, will all and be there well? I was left alone without my love Regan to hover here in the other side. Until that fateful day when... Oh. And you? No! I wasn't done with my story! For some reason, I didn't get to the most important part! Penny! You have to find Regan! She's not a bad person! She can help you! Oh. Yes! Finally! I found it! Hey! Talk to Harold! Bad news, girlfriend! This time, you're gonna stay dead! Alright, well, Harold said Reagan is actually a good guy, so I guess despite the fact she stole my sweet bod that I already perfectly customized to my own tastes, I should probably track her down. Probably. Save Elliot. Ah, so many characters to find all over the goddamn place. Alright, where's the grave at? I think the grave was all the way on this side. Am I wrong? Was the grave all the way over here? Yep, it was. It was over here. Okay, so she's probably the first one I find if I just keep going to the left. Or do I go to the right? Find Reagan. Hey, there she is. Come here. Oh, do I need souls? Please, I can't take this much longer. Anyone? Nope, I in I fact... can hear you. I'm Penny and I'm here to help. Are you Reagan? I am, but I'm trapped in here and- Reagan, slow down. I came to tell you, I know where Harold is. <gasps> you do? Oh, my sweet Harold. You really know where he is? I do, and despite the fact that you're, uh, borrowing my amazing body, I still want to help you. Harold says you're not a bad person. He's such a sweet talker. Penny, I'm trapped in here. Help me escape this coffin, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I can't believe I left my sweet bot for just a few hours, and already it's stuck in a coffin. Perfect. Please, I'll explain everything. I, I just need to get my, well, your body out of here. I don't have anything on me to smash a coffin, but wait. Could I actually possess myself? Ooh. Is that dangerous? Would that cause a tear in the space-time continuum or something? I guess there's one way to find out. And of course, I need special souls. Souls! I need little creepy souls. Ugh. Come here. Come here, 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 come Google, why are you talking right now? That, that, I, I did not say, hey, Google anything. Crap, I missed. No! No! I'm gonna miss it. I'm out of time. My my controller's buzzing. I'm out of time. I'm out. No! No! Ah! Come here! Come here! Come here! There's so many. There's so many. Ah! There's even more. No! 
Google is always listening. I know. Alright, let's try that again. Now that I know kind of what I'm doing. That's so many souls. It is the final chapter. I forgot. Nope. I've lost this one. And my timer's still going? No! Nope. No. Eh. No! <laughs> I did it again! Ah, fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna run back to the start point. I'm just gonna run back to the start point. It's okay. It's okay. At least it shows me the path. Alright, come here, you creepy doll. I'm gonna collect all your freaking souls. Gimme. Gimme. This goes out to any of you who choose to die and split up your souls. Just know, if I gotta collect them like this, you're in a world of hurt once I get them all. We're not, we're not Voldemort in here. We're not fracturing our soul into a, a bajillion horcruxes that, that'll lead to like five books. I'm just gonna stay as one, 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 one body, one mind, one heart. No! Fuck. I've come so far. No! Okay. One more time. This one's for the boys. <sighs> LOL. LOL indeed. Alright. Go this way. We're moving. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Uh huh, uh huh. Gimme. It's always that one. Nope. Thank you. Get over there. Come on. Let's go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Shimmy, shimmy, yay, shimmy, yay, shimmy, ya. Ah. Drink, swallow, la, la. Drink, swallow, la, la. There's no way to do this. No feasible way. No matter what I try. I need another me. So many souls to collect, so little time. See, these are the perks of wa uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't have to watch me struggle, and you get to just see everything as it is. So, uh, well, while I'm busy here, you can go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, the notification bell icon and all the other things that you hear YouTubers say. Crap. Come here. Boop. Boop. Fuck me. I'm not gonna make it. I made too many mistakes. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end. It doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, the soul doesn't matter. One thing, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. All of these souls are running away from me. <sighs> Quick travel. Please. 
<laughs> Watching the behind the scenes is always better. <laughs> okay. <sighs> We're going. Fuck, I missed one. Do the loot. Leave Chester resting in peace. <laughs> okay. For those of you who don't know, Doom Kitty is is my wife. <laughs> I will I will let him rest. <laughs> Ah, fuck. No, fuck. Ha, ha. No, wait. I'm going back. It's okay. Let's start over again. <gasps> Hello, Miss Lady. It's okay, honey. Your hurtful words only inspire me more. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. You duck. No! Aha! Ooh. Is this it? Is this the what? Is Do I actually do it? Can, can I? Is this the one? Maybe? It's ticking way too hard. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Fuck. Not at all how I planned that. Go! Go! Give me! Give me! No! Hold on! Hold on! No, 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 no! No! Hmm. Honey, there's no sleeping when I'm streaming. You, that's impossible. I'm too funny. your soul. Creepy child, you. Oh, that's a lot of typing there, Salty Biscuit. Uh, right after this run, I'll read it. Fuck. No! Why would you... <sighs> Fuck. Give me... <laughs> really don't want me to possess my own body, huh? Game? Fuck. Is it really possessing if it's your body? My own flesh and blood? No! Alright. See, by the way, since I haven't said this to enough people, imagine if instead of having teeth, we all just had a bunch of tiny little hands in our mouths. Like, instead of chewing, the hands would tear the food apart for you. And on that note, my wife is leaving. Farewell, honey. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. Get. What's the point? There we go. Got it. Missed him. Got you on the way down, though. Fuck. This throwing mechanic needs work. Okay. Can I get up there, please? Thank you so much for making my life just slightly easier. Come here, soul. Let's go ahead and have our thing prepped for when we fail. Can I? No! I had two left! Two! Two! <sighs> Alright. Hey, we're getting it. With each passing swipe, I get a little bit more proficient. Building my skills! Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not working. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
Oh, I did a little too well. Hold on. Can't be doing all that. No, 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 no. Don't jump a little too high. No, 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 no. Come on, 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 jump, 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 right there. <sighs> it's right there. With one left. Get up. Yes. Got it! I got it! Come on, guys! Let's all get some gently loved, previously enjoyed bodies! Oh man, I love those! <sighs> oh shit. Double oh shit. Triple oh shit. Gently loved. Gently loved indeed. But we got it! We finally got the souls. It only took a lot of tries. Let me possess myself. Woo! Possess my own body back! Man, I miss this crazy thing. Hey, do you like how it- Penny, what are you- I need you to smash the coffin, not get stuck in here with me. Oh, I'm not stuck. You and me, Reagan, we're driving my body together. And that gives us twice the willpower. Yeah. Come on, hop when I give the signal. We're gonna drive this coffin right off a cliff and smash it that way. We can move the coffin? Twice the willpower. Yep, look at us. We're moving a coffin. Who, need, who needs to worry about death when you can just hop right off? I have no idea how I'm gonna get up there. Well, hey. Hey, game mechanics, it's okay, I'll take it. There's no way we're going to the left, right? There we go. Hey, there's a nice meaty cliff to fall right off. Out! At last! Woo! Fresh air! And now, Reagan, who I'm not even sure I trust yet, I'd really appreciate knowing who you are, what you're doing here, and why you stole my body! A body which, I remind you, I am still only partially in control of. I did say I'd tell you. Okay, let me grab a projector. Wait, what are you going to project onto? Directly into your mind, of course. What? Is that safe? So many questions! <laughs> when I saw that Harold had died, I was devastated. Harold! But I knew he would have wanted me to live my best life. And I did. Oh my. And one day, many years later, I died. <gasps> Amateur lion taming accident could have happened to anyone. <laughs> In death, I was happy to finally be reunited with the love of my life, my oh. Harold. Harold! My love! Reagan, sweetie, I'm stuck. My bones are scattered across the world and I can't leave until they're safely in a grave. It sucks so bad, sweetie. I'm not losing you again. So we were stuck. We waited there together for hundreds of years. Until one day, when you decided to drop in. Ah! 
The strange shard that killed Harold somehow gave me the power to take over your body. I'm alive! I'm back alive! Back in the world of the living, I'd finally be able to collect Harold's bones and set things right. Or so I thought. <gasps> That's a cool and not unsympathetic backstory, but you still stole my body and my life. I know, but... Well, you can have it back after I find Harold's bones. That's all I want. Reagan, would you be offended if I used the word crappy? Not at all. Reagan, you've been doing a pretty crappy job of collecting his bones. How many do you have so far? Zero? Well, things got complicated. Well, lucky for you, I know how to solve your problem. That wolf ghost must know where some of his bones ended up. Harold got gobbled by wolves, by the way. Don't know if you talked about that when you were waiting. We didn't. We mostly talked about our love for each other. Well, now you know. Harold told me through a particularly elaborate form of interactive storytelling. Anyway. Oh. Uh, do you remember a sad boy meets girl story that also involves boy getting his head chopped off by a windmill? Nice man. Very tasty. Kept cubs satisfied for weeks. But then, uh, Wolf feel slightly guilty. Well, here's your chance to make up for that. I'll forgive you for gobbling my delicious husband if you lead us to his bones. Nice lady. Follow Wolf. <laughs> Meanwhile, up in the forest. Oh, stop slapping me, Harold. Just give me that stupid shard in your stupid hand. House. <laughs> Please crush this annoying thing! With pleasure! Ouch! Oh! Ah! Ooh. Oh, the wolf to Harold's bones. Alright, wolf. Lead the way. You teleporting bastard! I mean. Oh, it's good to be back in the old body. Really? You didn't find it a little. Uh... Tall? It's the perfect height! And don't sass a body you didn't even ask to borrow! That is rude, Reagan! Okay. Interesting. Where did the wolf go? He's up there! Glad I decided to randomly check the map. Okay, let me read your comments. Salty Biscuit said, Oh shiz, times three. Yeah, it took me a lot. And then Shadow Abyss saying, Hippity hop. Said a hip hop, a hippie, a hippie did a hip hip hoppy. You don't stop bopping to the bang. Love you. How's the stream on y'all's end? It isn't choppy, is it? I'm getting the red red flags again. Yes, this is definitely source of bone smell. Wolf would bet two stacks of delicious human flesh upon it. That's not necessary, but thanks. The doctor? Uh oh. Well, there's the doctor again. Looks like this patient is going to flatline. Is that a threat? Can I fight now, please? Nope. No! Uh! Dang it, Vera! Penny? Wow! Vera hasn't seen anyone do the old two souls, one body trick in years. How's that working out for you? It's, uh, surprisingly cozy. Yep, that's what they tell Vera. So listen, Vera couldn't help but notice that that ghoul there is bothering you. You want Vera to tag along with her spell that can kick ghouls out of bodies? Yes, please. Okay, shove over. Wait, I thought you meant tag along in the walk beside us sense. Nope. Not in the also possess my body sense. Vera apologizes for the confusion. Oh my. Ah, uh, yes. Vera likes it in this body. Feels sassier than the old one. Okay, so, to stop a ghoul from possessing someone else, just do this. Okay, hold ZR and aim with R, then release to banish the ghouls. Ooh, three souls. I need two more souls in my body. Who wants to join? ZR. So I hold ZR, and then I do this. So it's the reverse of using the, uh, whatchamacallit. What am I supposed to banish? Can I move now? It's the opposite of using the, the scythe. Yay! 
that's disappointing. Vera noticed this too. Vera will need way more ghost power for this to work. One second, Vera has a friend she can call. Hello? Martha? Vera, are you still at the Department of Death and Dying? Oh, perfect. Well, remember how Vera covered for you when you accidentally sent those 5,000 souls to the bad place? Gotta call in that favor, Martha. Vera needs some ghosts. You've got Vera's coordinates. 5,000? Accidentally? Thank you, Martha. Hey, the ghost. These will definitely I mean, the have the additional ghost power units Vera needs. Okay, we gotta gather the three souls. We're gathering all the souls. Alright, let's get the, uh... What's her face first? Oh, fuck. All right, fuck off. Me? God damn. How much is it gonna take to get you out of this body? Fine. You away. Give me that soul power. Nope, oh, moving. Damn it! I need more souls. And I'm being chased. Can I do nothing? If I'm stuck here, okay, hey, I need your body. Oh, hi, Penny. Just good to be seeing you again. Thanks. Anyone else over here? Good. Who's that all the way over there? I guess we'll find out later. Hopefully it's a boss battle. If not, I'll come look for it later. It's about to get re real cozy in, in Penny's body. I agree. Alright, where's this other body? Damn it, I thought that was another ghoul chasing me. They're just in the other room. Yeah, body can't even fly. I can't see with you monologuing. Hold on. Damn it. Fuck. Alright, hey, I'm jumping over you. If I can. Please. Okay, I made it. The... I was just about to get together with my new girlfriend. Dang it. Ah, sorry. Alright. Gather the goat. There's 11. Holy shit. Nope. What's the point of having this ghost banishing power if I still need more? Oh, there he is. He's up there. I see him now. Okay. Convoluted as always. Fuck! <laughs> How in the Shayute do I get up there? Damn it. Mm. Nope. I did it. Okay, cool. Hey, you! We keep running into each other. Hey, Maxi. For whatever. Cool. We need more ghost power. We got the alien ghost here in a second. Ooh, and you the need to be back ghost. on Earth, dearie. Happy to be your plus one for an evening. <laughs> I hope we'll be out of this world. Sorry, is that cliche? I'm new here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we got six ghost powers. Have our powers grown yet? Nope, still the same old born shit. We need to get past the doctor. That's gonna be hard. And Tina, with her big ass teeth. I like how the fireman, we revived him in the last, um, last, or last couple, cha or a few chapters ago, but he's dead again as a ghost. Like, is his body on, like, temp duty? Once I figure out walking, I'll get you! Fuck! Can't be defeated. Sure you can. Damn it. We can't be defeated. All right. Well, I got past him, and I'm not dying, which is interesting. Okay, where's his ghost? It looks like he's down the steps. 
Oh, looks like I'm going this way. Woo. Woo. All right. Is anyone else over here? The wolf. The wolf smells bones inside that building. Fuck. Definitely old. Okay, okay, okay. Can I go in the building as we speak? Or, like, will the doctor still be chasing me? They can't get past me. Okay, no, I gotta get all the ghosts first. Moving, moving, moving. Please don't follow me down here. I ain't got time for all Didn't that. I save you? Aren't you alive now? Well, I was. Until the hot stop and thrills a Terra Lady 18. No regrets. Oh my god. Terra Lady 18. Got him. Well, at least they explained it. Okay, I gotta help Dad Santa. Okay, and I gotta get past this building, which means there's probably a demon over here. Looks like Fuck! This criminal is going to get the death penalty. Hey, don't be mean. Yeah. Let me up here. Gotcha. You're just ahead. I think you'll count for 0.5. No offense. None taken. 0.5 souls. Okay. Hold on, is there anyone down here? Yeah, I just need to get Dad Santa, who's stuck inside the chimney. Yeah, so he died again. Watching Terror Lady 18. Let me up here. I like how we look. We also look possessed, yet we can't. Hey, it's you from before. Thanks for the help with Jenny. You're welcome. But I was gonna say, I like how we look possessed, yet we can't blend in with the rest of the other possessed people. What else we got? We got the night ghost. The night. Shit. Didn't like you anyway. Jenny. How do I get up there? Oh, it's this way, of course. Ugh. Please Never do. fear, your shining knight is here. And also your legally mandated squire. That's it! That's all Vera needs! The full force of the spell is now- It's now available! Let's go! We did it! <laughs> well, ghouly it. I like it. I'll read it later. Okay. Ghoul descendant of Ghoul Rula, once upon a soul eating contest championship that he didn't even know was happening, he was just eating that many souls to pass the time when possessing Iliot. Elliot, he finds the fact his body was a mere two eyes, which on which only see a mere three, and two a mere three, non-insanity-inducing dimensions takes some getting used to. How available if we work together. Penny, you're in charge. Just say when. Got it, Vera. Sweet. We got Tina. All right, let's start killing. Or sl I mean, exercise. Would this count as exercising ghosts? All right, we're going up. I feel like this oh, Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm awesome now. What did Vera tell you? Now let's go use our powers on those dang ghouls. And save my Herald. Yes. Everyone, let's end this. Yeah. I like this. We, can, we finally have an attacking mechanism. You're too weak. Wolf smells bones inside that building. Definitely old bones from before. If you not need them, can Wolf eat? No, Wolf. No eating the bones. <laughs> Wolf accepts your terms reluctantly. All right. Bones in here? We're bones. Oh, we just busted a bust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I get it? Do I just need to... How do I get those? How do I get? All right, let's press Y. I really don't think abandoning my body in the middle of a climactic battle is a good idea. Okay, well, do I need to bust this thing with my new ghost powers? It would make sense, right? Okay, then how do I get the bones? Or are these the bones? Wow. Uh oh, come on, Harold. Of all the 
afterlives I was expecting, this was not one of them. I died in a Santa costume and so get to spend eternity in a Santa costume. Things worked out great for me. Yeah. What if you died naked? Would that mean... Can we please discuss eternal nudity at a later date? Really trying to accomplish a goal here, and I don't need the distractions. <laughs> eternal nudity. All right, let's charge her. Come on, Doc. Where you at? Where you at, Doc? Once I figure out what <laughs> I'll get you. Not getting shit. Lost and found. Hey, rib cage. They're just there, just sitting in a box, chilling. Oh. Uh oh. We need more. Oh, there were bones down at the doctor's. Wait, have I exercised all the ghosts? Let me go get the priest. Actually, it might be easier to get the the, the doc first. I mean, the the police guy first. And I'm glad they prevented me from leaving her body, because they know it's very easy to hit that button. If I had accidentally swatched out of here. Gotcha. Come here, Doc, please. No. Oh, no, he's regular you now. My bad. Whoopsie. <laughs> Ooh. Evidence file. Yeah. That's all we need. It's time to end this. It's time to save Harold. Uh oh. Come on. Gotcha. This is none of your How business. the fuck? Body can't even. Haha. Open. Hey, it's Willa. Is the name of the thick house. Good to know. Sometimes it's a lot of demonic. If a lot of demonic energy gets concentrated in a single area, it can manifest in inanimate objects. That's the origin story behind Willa, the monster house. Fun fact: that also is the origin story as to why you keep stubbing your toe on the same table. Oh, <gasps> I knew! I knew! Okay, Willa ho hobbies include terror and spooky arts and crochet. Gotta include something something decent in there. All right, let me read some of the comments. If you try to put on clothes, they just get magicked away. Yeah. I cannot wait to dispense justice from thy new and more female frame. Yeah. Sir, please don't make this weird. Benny, I apologize if my night is making things weird. <laughs> hey, Brady, what about claiming excitement from dispensing justice from a new and more female frame is weird? Tis every night's dream to dispense justice from every frame imaginable! Hey, glad you two are having fun. <sighs> <laughs> Please stop arguing in my brain. I'm gonna be still because I don't want to- Oh, the dog! No, puppy! No, they possessed the little pupper to catch me off guard. They knew I wouldn't shoot a pup. Well, actually, I would. I li I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. Hey, Ray Doewood. Professional hard hat tester Ray Doewood was supposed to be the lead in his game, but due to a fatal paper cut accident, don't ask, it was unlikely, as it was memorable, um, his role was reduced to walk on as a beheaded ghost. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Fun fact. He now secretly wishes to stick it to the man. Alright, good job, Doewood. Are we taking the boat now? We are. Alright, who else are we killing along the way? Was that? There's a question mark there, who's that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to figure out who the question mark is. We can't go back to these levels, I don't think. Well, I mean, we can later, but probably. That's not certain. Maybe. Okay, it was just the dog. Right? It's just the dog. Update the map, damn it. I know it's the dog now. <laughs> Alright. Bump, 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 bump. What kind of monster would possess someone's pet? Alright. I mean, what kind of demon would possess someone's pet? A demon, of course. No! No! Don't let them get close! Okay. I'm uh, expecting some wild attacks. As I get closer, charging my, my beam. 
Any, anyone there? I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm expecting you. Can't, uh, can't catch me off guard. Moving slow. Ah! Fuck, they caught me off guard. What the hell are they doing? Move. Fuck. Okay, I see what's going on here. Gotcha. Ice cream man, I hated him. I'm glad we got to blast him with something. Ah, oh, it's Reagan, apple grease. Let's see, look at that. You spent the whole time thinking Reagan was a bad guy, but really she was just a misunderstood person in some very difficult circumstances. Her life was marked by love and then tragedy, but with the help of a kind stranger, it might not be too late to turn things around. Heck, you're already in for it, Penny. In for a penny. All right, got you. Well. Oh, I guess that was it. Very, uh, uninteresting. Gotcha. Who else? Oh, it's just, uh, funny how we're fighting. Get out! I've come for you! Reagan! Oh. Ha! Huh. I knew you'd never give up on us! Oh. This is for you, my love! Catch! And he gets caught by... Ooh, never mind. Ooh. Can we fight now? Oh. I didn't even think I was supposed to do that. <gasps> Harold, my dear! Regan, my love! Not even death, dismemberment, possession, and giant nightmare demons can keep our love apart. This is much nicer than kissing a skeleton, which is what I was worried I'd have to do. <laughs> oh. Penny? What happened? Why am I here? Why are you... Wait, why are you dying in my arms? Hey, I'm back from my moon vacation. Fully rested and relaxed. <laughs> great sights, great restaurants. Though I must admit they didn't have much of an atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, I'm so ready to start reaping souls from the living. Hey, boss, speaking of that, there's been a mistake. What? Yeah, turns out I didn't die after all. My body got possessed by the spirit of a long dead woman, which kicked my spirit over here to the other side. But yeah, totally alive right now. Uh, for the moment at least. Also, I'm not a demon. I'm pretty sure I've gathered from context clues that only demons are supposed to be doing my job. Wait. I left a living human in charge of the afterlife? You did. I left an alive person in charge of death? Oh, jeez, I could get fired for this. Hey, I won't tell if you won't. Now, if you could just send me back to the land of the living, quickly, hopefully. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. You <laughs> saved my skin. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Strictly metaphorically. It seems you've also done a lot of solving of other people's problems, too. <laughs> See you never, Temp. Be gone! <laughs> Penny! You're alive! I was terrified. I thought for a moment that you were... <laughs> <laughs> Ted? Nah. Besides, that's not scary, Elliot. People think of him as this force that stalks them throughout their lives, but it's not like that. Penny, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll explain later. For now, come here, boyfriend. Aw. Aw, three weeks later, she's dead again. We start the whole process over. Aw. Reagan and Harold, they really did love each other, you know. I know. I miss them. Them and all the others. Yeah, it's a shame we won't see them tonight. And also ever again. I wouldn't be so sure, Elliot. After all, there's a reason we're having the housewarming party on Halloween. Hey. Oh. <laughs> and that was how, with the aid of the ghosts she'd helped in her adventure, Penny managed to save not just the day. That was how Penny Dowood managed to save everyone. Harold and Reagan, 
were reunited forever. Penny was restored to her body, and she and Elliot, and all the inhabitants of Flatwood Peaks, living and dead, lived and died, happily ever after. The end. So, remember back at the beginning when I promised you you'd reach your own end soon enough? Well, here it is. Oh, you probably thought I was making some threats about you dying. But no, I was only talking about the end of this game. Well, how can I know if you're going to die or not? For all I know, you're one of the few immortals that walk this earth, unable to die, passing the time by playing video games. Ooh. And for that, I thank you. Please, tell me your secrets. Oh, and if you aren't one of those immortals, well, I thank you too. You shared some of your finite life with me. And when death does come for you, remember, he's not such a bad guy. You'll probably like him. And you know, if you don't, you'll always have the option of flipping death. Yes. Ah, so I'm just give a hand clap to all the actors that uh, acted in this. They did a stellar job. I didn't get to meet, see most of their stories, but uh, hey, fucking good job. Excellent. Let's read some of the comments. So Hazy says, this is extremely heartwarming. She's not going to lie. I 100% agree. Loved their love story. <laughs> uh, Salty Biscuits says, as buggy as this game was, it was... Whoops, it was very charming. Oh, let me just pick up my controller. It was a very charming game. Maxi Pad Lord agrees. Guys, Shadowing Abyss, first view or first time viewer of the channel. Uh, it was really good. And let's see, Hazy says one guy played like 16 people. Wow. Yeah, he did. Fuck, he was really carrying the team. Let's see, that that dude must have some killer voice acting skills. He must, because I couldn't tell that he was the same person. I want to give a shout out to Psy the computer guy. That was my favorite character out of all of these. Copper by day, uh, elite hacker hacker at night by night. Who was y'all's favorite character? Let me know in the comments. Uh, my switch turned off. Hold on. There we go. It's back. I did still forget to save Tina. Oh wait, where was Tina? Was she on the map? Well, sorry, Tina. You're still possessed. Just crawling around. Saved everyone but Tina. Damn. I wish I could have just left Ice Cream Man possessed. Vera was Hazy's favorite. Let's go. Oh, Vera with the burning head? <laughs> sure is nice. Flipping death. Well, hey. I enjoyed that game. One of my... That's going in the, that's going in the book. It's one of my favorite games. I... It was narrated, so I think I think going forward, I would prefer to only play games that are narrated. This has been such a pleasant experience with me not having to read. We've been able to get through it about an hour per chapter. And that makes things a lot easier to fine tune and post before I upload it to YouTube. Um, what else can I say? Hey, join me on my Discord, because um, uh, you know you'll get more information. I'd say after this, I'm gonna go to big screen too. After this, I'm gonna start um, going back to my original stream schedule. Uh, since it was the holiday, I did every day, but I'm gonna try and stream on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday nights. Most likely Friday or Saturday. But hold on, I'm short. Boop. There we go. I'm gonna try and stream on Friday or Saturday nights. One or, one of the two, but things may get busy at work, so who knows? So we'll we'll, we'll keep this going. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you for enjoying or joining me on this uh, fun adventure. I've enjoyed it. This has been Flipping Death with your awesome host, Tony the Brony. Uh, I hope you all have a good night, and I will see y'all on the next game. Bye-bye. All I got to do is not crash. All I got to do is not crash. Just don't crash. Oh. I'm out of nitrous acid, nitric acid, not black. I'm out of the gas.
is what I shall call it now. See, the way I see it, there are two types of racers. There's the racers who like to save their speed to the end, and then there are the racers who like to blow it all in the beginning. I feel fast. Asphalt injection. Hi, kid. Perhaps you'd like to play. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Yeah, I'll play. This round is free, young lady. Okay, focus on the ball. Ready? Here we go. Left, right, left, middle, right, left, right, middle. Middle, of course. And you win. See? It's simple. You shuffle faster for me. Mm -hmm. Another try, young lady? Oh. And you can place a bet, too. Oh, he's going to fuck me up. All right, let's do it. Excellent. If you win, you get double. Small, please. I only have enough money for a small. Wise bet. Now don't take your eyes off the cup. Ready? Here we go. All right. Middle, left, middle, right, 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 right. Left, mid, right. It's on the right. Whoa. Excellent pick, young lady. Excellent pick, young lady. Yeah, he does look Another like a round? cop. I'm gonna get in on this. Put a little bet down in my own. The lady is focused. I shut the hell up. Shoot. Left my wallet near the cam. Get it for me, Lamb Chong. Not a servant. But I'm gonna take that money. Hey, hey. All right. She left it near the can. Let's go. Hey, 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 you done fucked up letting me get your wallet. Oh! God damn it, Jared. I was in the middle of making money. If he stepped away, he should still be in this area, right? God. Damn, all right. So, like I said, I'm going to put more dough down on the kid. Ready? Here we go. All right, to the right. I'm trying to make money. Ho! Oh, left, middle, right, left, right, middle. Ha <laughs> that caught me by surprise. You Holy win. fuck. <sighs> all right. I'm going to put down some more. Jellybean here is a goddamn winner. I know it. Yes, a real winner. Look who's starting to sweat, sweet cheeks. Clown face here. Uh, I'm not feeling confident at Ready? all. Give me the money. Here we go. Okay, middle. Left, right, left, middle, left, right. Who? Left. You, you win. Yeah. Drop has your number. Yeah, sure do. Even more. Hold on there now, uh, Sonya. I ain't got them. This man is fast. Ready? Here we go. Left. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I think it's still left. Boom! <laughs> Did we get the ball and cups too? I have no idea how I did that. I guess my brain kept up, but I did not. I did not. That's impossible. Just give me a second. I'll, I'll be right back. Get yourself some more scratch and get back here. We ain't done yet. How in the darn tootin' fiddly. All right, Sonya, we got to get out of here. Looks like an emerald. An emerald splash, even. No one could just deflect the emerald splash. I've hit the jackpot! Okay, Frobisher, I shall fly your megacopter and hopefully not crash it into any of these birds. That would be atrocious. No, not that bear. This one. Eat it. 
Frobisher. Say my name very loudly! Frobisher! Get out of my sight! I forget what I was watching, but the, the topic came up of, you know, how most times we portray aliens as being naked, but, you know, if if they're able to fly to our planet, which is something that we can't do, put her off. Real close, like, she didn't even say anything before you started. 